Welcome to BBC News, I'm Victoria Derbyshire with the latest headlines for viewers in the UK and around the world. England's Education Secretary backs reducing Covid isolation down from seven days to five. The Australian government did not give Novak Djokovic assurances that he could enter the country without a vaccination, according to documents filed ahead of a hearing on Monday. Russian troops arrive in Kazakhstan as order is restored following six days of violence that killed 164 people. The Afghan baby separated from his parents in Kabul during the chaos of the US withdrawal is reunited with relatives. Look, look this one. And this one is same broken. Look this one. A BBC investigation into accommodation for asylum seekers in the UK discovers serial concerns about the living conditions provided for some people. And it's a draw for England and Australia in the fourth Ashes Test. England trail 3-0 in the series with one test to play. Hello and welcome if you're watching in the UK or around the world. England's Education Secretary Nadeem Zahawi has backed cutting the COVID isolation period in England from seven to five days. He said if there's evidence it's safe, the change could reduce staffing pressures on schools, hospitals and other important sectors. The UK Health Security Agency is reviewing the length of the isolation period. Mr Zahawi said ministers are doing all they can to make sure the health service can operate during what he called a rocky few weeks. Jonathan Blake is our political correspondent.